If you know anything about hip hop, then you understand the power of the mixtape. I made Section 80. It was a time where I uh, really started traveling heavy. You gotta put out this free music to the people because if it's good, it's gonna reach them. Mixtape is the rawest way of getting your music out. Today's biggest artists know it can be a vehicle. What most don't know is the backstory of how the mixtape revolutionized hip hop. The first mixtape I did was for my man Alpo. One record, do the whole tape, Beasley Boy, hold it now, and I got like 500 for that. <laughs> the feeling, it felt like you were in the club in your car. The street guys was my best customer. Next day I seen him at a BMW. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm a DJ. I was like, you ain't no DJ, man. You selling drugs. He could prove, like, he, you know, he helped build hip hop, man. He sat there with six tape decks and copied them all night. If I'm going to do a mixtape, it got to be, like I said, it got to be presented better. It got to look better. The sound quality got to be better. Actually, Clue took my blueprint and ran with it. 495 Live, there was never any guest rappers, known rappers, rhyming on mixtapes. Back then, it wasn't even heard of. Fulton County SWAT team raided DJ Drama's Gangsta Grills recording studio last night. I hear the sirens and everything. Just as I go outside, they jump out. I mean, deep M16s, freeze, get on the ground. They didn't want me to leave with the music. I told you I was in a burglar game, so they thought I was gonna leak this, whatever. That song was on a uh, Who Kid tape. And when I heard 50 Cent song, I was like, yo, this kid is out of here. I do the 300 shows from that mixtape. Every song is charting on the Billboard charts. It's never been done before. This is the tale of the tape.